Last year, Apple launched augmented reality on iOS devices with ARKit. This year, ARKit 2 is coming out with iOS 12. What's the big difference? Multiplayer. Now you can have all sorts of shared experiences between devices that can either be local or in the cloud. Google did something like this with something called Cloud Anchors at Google I.O., and that can work between Android and iOS. That's cloud-based. Here, you don't have to make it cloud-based. This ARKit 2 can work on anywhere from two iPads or two iPhones to maybe a 1,000. And this particular software that we tried on these tables was a slingshot game called SwiftShot that's um, test code and allowed us to play some sort of crazy slingshot game on these tables which are empty. But if you hold the iPad up, hey, it's a whole bunch of blocks that we're able to use. And Vanessa and I were able to launch balls back and forth, and we both saw the exact same game board from different perspectives. Now, that could be used for things like Lego, maybe in the future it could be used for things like Pokemon. It could be used for things like shared worlds and art projects. Multiplayer AR is the beginning of that sort of consensual augmented reality hallucination, or just a fun way to play in your living room in a board game like this. I'm here at WWDC, Scott Stein checking out ARKit 2.